Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn layers in Adobe Photoshop. Hello friends, layers are like a stacked transparent sheet of glass on which you can paint image. You can see through the transparent areas of a layers to the layers below. You can work on each layer independently, experimenting to create an effect you want. Each layer remains independent until you combine or merge those layers. Now, the bottommost layer in the layer panel, the background layer, is always locked, protected, meaning you cannot change the stacked order, blending mode, or an opacity, unless you convert it to the regular layer. As you can see, I convert this background layer to the regular layer. Now, you can use layers to perform a task such as a compositing multiple images, adding a text to an image, or adding a vector graphic shapes. You can apply a layer style to add a special effect such as a drop shadow or a glow. As you can see, on this text of Photoshop, I apply a different different effect and also an apply a drop shadow. So guys, let's create a new project so you have a clear idea about this. You can use a Ctrl plus N to create this. I'm just name this as layer in Photoshop. Okay. Here is size like 920 by 1080, 72 resolution, this size in pixels. Okay, the background color will be a black by default or you can also change from here. Okay, and just press OK. So my new project is created. My previous one is here only. You can create a more than one project like this. Okay, so if I am creating a new project, the by default, okay, the background will be black and it will be a locked. As I already said you, you cannot do anything in this layer until and unless you convert it into the regular layer. So guys, first is a blending mode menu. Here you can see this is a blending mode menu. From here you can set the blending mode for the layers. If I am selecting this text layer, okay, and here you can apply a different different blending mode like a darker, multiple, color burn. And as you can see the changes is applied to the text layer. Okay, you can select a different different layer by just right click on this and you can select in Photoshop that show I am selecting these layers. So just click on this and you can see a bounding box around this layer that show this layer is selected. Also, you can see a highlighted color over here. Okay, just by moving your mouse pointer, the blending mode is changing. Okay, these are a blending mode. Now next you can see this eye. What this eye indicates? This eye indicates the layer visibility. If I am just switch off this eye, then my layer will be invisible. If I am just switch on this eye, the layer is again visible. Now guys, beside this eye, you can see a small box. It is so a preview of the layer. Now this is a text layer. This will, that's why it is showing a T over here. Now this is an image, so it will be showing a small image inside this. This is called a layer thumbnail. Okay, also you can see a preview of the layer. Now highlighted layer is active layer or not. Now if I am selecting this layer, so that's why it is show it is an active layer. Also it will be a highlighted layer. Now you can also copy and paste a particular layer. You can just use Ctrl C and Ctrl V and you can just copy and paste those layers. Okay, you can just duplicate these layers by just right click on it or duplicate layers and here you can just change the name Rushi2 okay and the new layer will be created with the customized name now at the bottom side you can see here you can uh, set a uh, different different uh, styles on your layer beside this you can add a layer mask you can create a new fill or adjustment layer you can create a new group or you can add all your layer to a customized group you can create a new layer or just delete the layer now I am just showing you one by one all the things okay we already created a one project which is called a layer in Photoshop here I am just creating a new layer by just clicking on here so by default a new layer is created on top of the background layer okay you can just double click on it to change the name like I am just changing like L1 fine just double click on this text okay so by default the rename thing will come now the another another thing to add layer is just press alt and click on this new layer okay creating a new layer so the new dialog box is coming and here you can apply the name like i am applying the name like photoshop layer okay 
here you can apply the color of this layer and you can also change the blending mode and you can also increase or decrease the opacity just press ok so as you can see my new empty layer is created with the new name photoshop layer or i'm just click on double click on here and you can change the name of this layer now guys you can also convert the background layer into the regular layer now this is my background layer which is locked the background layer is a bottom layer in an image other layer stacked on top of this background layer which usually but not always now guys we can convert the background layer into the regular layer as you can see this is our background layer which is locked the background layer is a bottom layer in an image other layer stacked on this top of the background layer which usually but not always now contains the actual image data of a photo to protect the image the background layer is always locked if you want to change its stacked order blending mode or any opacity you must first convert it into the regular layer now to convert it into the regular layer just double click on this background layer and now he will tell you what name you want i'm just right bg new okay here you can also apply the color of the layer and you can also change the blending mode and you can also change the opacity just press ok now as you can see now my background color is become a regular layer now next we are going to see a managing some layer how you can create a new group for example i have this two layer which is come in a same category now instead of creating a lots of layer i am just adding these two layers in a single group now how you can do it you can just creating a new group by creating here and then just drag and drop this layer to this group okay now and another thing is just selecting those two layers and here you can see creating a new group just click on this and by default it will be go inside that group and that group will be also created okay the next thing is assign a color to layer or a group color coding layer and a group helps you to identify related layers in the layer panel simply right click the layers or a group and select a color now for example this group contains some text layer so what i am doing i am just preferring red color for the text so by default the color code will be a red now for background i can create a different color for example green so now this color will be green so it will be help me to identify a related layer in the layer panel now guys next is filter in photoshop layer now we are back to the our uh, thumbnail and now here i'm showing you how the filters in photoshop layers works now at the top of the layer panel here you can see this is called a filter pick a filter type now at the top of this filter panel the filtering option help you to find a key layers in a complex document here you can display a subset of layer based on name kind effect mode attribute color smart object selected and artboard okay if i am selecting the effect so it will be a filter by the effect so i can only show that affected layers in our layer panel for example if i am selecting the artboard so all the artboard are displayed so normally it will be a filter photoshop layers so guys in a layer panel if i am selecting a particular layer for example i am just selecting this rushi 2 okay i am just selecting this dustbin you can call it a delete layer to delete this layer because i already have a previous layer just delete it okay so for now i am selected my original layer if you want to know it is a selected or not just switch it on and switch it off so you know okay i am on a corrected layer okay just click here and here just double click on it here you can see a layer style you can apply a different different layer style as you can see you can apply a different different layer style you can apply a stroke okay so this will be a learn in our upcoming video for now i'm just showing you how you can enable and a layer style okay now how you know the uh, layer style is applied to a particular layer or not so as you can see the fx icon is here that indicate a layer are affected affected with a different different effect for example my insert your image here is uh, affected by a drop shadow so drop shadow is apply in this layer 
okay you can also apply the different different effect from here just click here and you can directly apply a bevel and emboss stroke and different different effect to your layers like this you can here select a blending option which we already show you how you can apply a different different blending option to your layers next is opacity you can increase or decrease the opacity of your layers okay you can also increase or decrease the feel of this layer means you can see a transparent of your image and also see a background image like this you can apply the feel and opacity now next i am showing you how you can copy this effect to a, another layer okay for example in this photoshop we have applied some bevel and emboss some drop shadow now i want to copy this effect to my tutorials point text so how you can do it i am just selecting this photoshop right click on it and here you can see a copy layer style okay just click on this copy layer style so it will be copied okay now select your target layer my target layer is tutorialspoint.com i'm just zoom it so you can see the effect okay just right click again and you can see a paste layer style see this all the effect will apply to this particular layer or you can select this layer panel just right click on it and you can see placed layer so you can apply this effect on a multiple layers now if you don't want this effect on this particular layer so just select this layer okay right click on it and clear layer style so all the style will be clear from this particular layer so just click here and the style will be clear so guys that's all about a layers in photoshop in our next video i show you the layer style in adobe photoshop thank you so much guys see you in the next video